Hello guys, Yulia Bone over here and we're going to continue with talking about the differences and similarities of GDP um, of GDP deflator and consumer price index. When we calculate consumer price index, we're going to take into consideration goods that are produced outside of the United States. Because remember, consumer price index is trying to reflect or show us how the cost of typical consumer changing over time. If you're talking about consumer, we consume a lot of goods and services that are produced, I'm sorry, a lot of goods that are produced outside of the United States. So just think about it. if you sit in your new room, just look around and see where is the furniture, computers, cell phones, your book bags, your water bottles are made. And most likely they're going to be made somewhere somewhere outside of the United States. If we're not going to put those goods produced outside of the United States as the part of the consumer basket, then consumer price index is not going to truly reflect what it is trying to reflect, the cost, how the cost of typical consumer changes over time. So therefore, we need to include imported goods in the consumer price index. But remember, when we calculate our GDP um, or GDP deflator, we do not include goods that are produced outside of the United States because GDP or GDP deflator, they're trying to reflect production on the territory of the United States if we're talking about our country. So therefore, once again, imported goods, they're going to be the part of the CPI, but imported goods are not going to be the part of the GDP deflator. The next uh, differences that we need to understand is going to be capital goods. Guys, remember, capital goods from economic point of view, this is any structures, any equipment, machinery, that you buy in order to produce a final good. So most likely when we're talking about capital goods, capital goods are going to be purchased by businesses. So some kind of machinery, equipment, um, structures. So just think about, do we purchase John Deere tractor in order to go to you know to college so we're going to like to purchase a drone jones air tractor and we're going to go to college and the answer um and the answer is no so therefore we as a typical consumers we don't buy those machinery and equipment so therefore it's going to be excluded from the cpi but remember, when these capital goods are produced, taken into consideration, they're produced on the territory of the United States. They're going to be included in, G in the GDP deflator. Remember, capital goods can actually can be um, uh, military equipment. When we produce military helicopter and the price of the military helicopter is changing, is this going to be reflected in consumer price index and the answer is no because typical consumer does not purchase military helicopter on an everyday basis but when we produce military heli military helicopter and the price of this um, military helicopter has actually changed we will see that change in the GDP deflator okay guys I need to emphasize over here that if you as a consumer purchasing a lawn mower for your personal use personal use then this is going to be the part of the cpi remember you're purchasing a uh, lawn mower and this is for for your personal use you're going to mow your own yard that's going to be the part of the cpi but if some kind of company XYZ lawn mowing company is purchasing that lawn mower, this is going to be part of the capital good, capital good. And this is not going to be the part of the CPI. So you need to understand when we purchasing goods for personal use or for use, for example, for the for some kind of company to produce a final good that is going to be two different things. For example, if I'm purchasing a computer for my personal use, I'm going to use it at home, not for work. That's going to be the part of the CPI. 
but if corporation xyz purchased a computer remember taking into consideration it was produced in the united states then this is going to be as a capital good because that corporation is going to use that computer in order to produce some kind of final good and service and therefore that's not going to be the part of the cpi but this is going to be the part of the gdp deflator so last difference that we need to talk about it's going to be really kind of um, simple remember cpi is using fixed baskets but when we were calculating gdp deflator or our nominal gdp then we were, we were using currently uh, produced goods and services so we were taking into consideration that goods and services the quantity of goods and services was actually um, you know changes uh, changing from year to year so therefore the CPI basket is fixed but GDP deflator where we're taking into consideration current quantities so there's um let's look at this um activity so really quick in this activity we need to read each one of these statements and we need to figure out by this um, event that happened in the economy is our CPI affected, GDP affected, or both. So for A, we have that Starbucks raises the price of Frappuccinos. So our question is, is GDP going to change or CPI going to change or both? So once again, Starbucks produce a cup of frappuccino it was produced here in the united states and the price of that frappuccino has actually changed is that going to reflect it in gdp and the answer is yes because we produce that product on the territory of the united states so it's a service or product um, in this situation we produce in the territory of the united states so therefore the price the gdp is actually um, going to change is our consumer price index going to be affected by this event and the answer is yes because consumer basket is going to include frappuccino in the basket and therefore if the price of frappuccino is changing then um cpi is going to be affected so cpi is going to increase as well guys you probably think about it was like well what if i don't buy frappuccinos i probably never bought frappuccino i even don't know what this drink is i probably never drink frappuccino in my life so what if I don't buy Frappuccino in a um, everyday basis, on an everyday basis? Is the CPI still going to be like a kind of effect? The answer is yes, CPI is still going to be affected. Your personal CPI probably is not going to be affected by that because you don't purchase Frappuccinos. But in general, CPI, when BLS is um reporting that is actually going to be affected so therefore you need to kind of to understand what is your personal cpi and what is cpi in general cpi remember consumer basket has ninety thousand products in it so therefore there are a lot of these products that you're not going to consume like i never probably bought um i don't know bmw but it's going to be in the consumer basket so therefore if the price of bmw is changing me personally i'm not going to be affected by that but in general cpi is going to change so for b for b it says over here that caterpillar raises the price of industrial tractors it's producing in its illinois facility illinois uh, location so our question is is cpi or gdp deflator going to be affected or both so is the industrial tractor going to be reflected in the gdp or the change in its price going to be reflected in gdp and the answer is yes because remember in gdp we actually include capital goods so everything that is produced on the territory of the united states is going to be the part of the gdp so therefore gdp is going to increase is the cpi going to be affected by this price change and the answer is no cpi is not going to be affected because typical consumer is not buying tractor on an everyday basis so it's not going to be in the typical consumer basket and the last one c armani raises the price of the italian jeans it sells in the united states so we have italian company they produce jeans in italy as i understand and they brought these jeans and selling in the united states territory is gdp going to be affected the answer is no because it was not produced 
on the territory of the United States. Is CPI going to be affected? Again, guys, I've never purchased Armani jeans in my life before. So therefore, well, do I need to worry about that? I don't have to worry about it. But when BLS calculated it, they going to include Armani jeans in the basket. Remember, there are a lot, there are thousands and thousands of products in consumer basket. So therefore, if the price of Armani jeans is increasing, therefore CPI is going to be affected as well. So this is um, a little learning activity. So your questions, you will have similar questions on the test. Make sure you know uh, three differences between the um, consumer price index and GDP deflator.